Good morning, it's August 21st, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop. We have lots of stuff to show you today. We're gonna start off with future Moda collections and just taking a peek at those. We're gonna show you some new videos, some new quilts, um, just lots of stuff that we've put together. It's gonna be a great show. Um, lots of variety today. So what I'm gonna be showing you from Moda ships December, January, February. So quite a while's away. And these are items that are now on our coming soon page, either as you can either be notified when they come in or you can pre-buy them. And so as I go through, I'm gonna tell you the designer and the date, and I'm gonna show you some of the quilt kits that are available. So this is the catalog they came out with. And the one on the cover is called Roslyn. It is by Minnick and Simpson. And this time, so I'll show you this, this time they did a red and white instead of the blue or black. And so this is the bundle. It is a February delivery. So really pretty, and it does have, it does have um, some grayish in it. So it's not really a white, it's more of a red cream, and then there's some brownish prints. So I'm actually gonna add this into my Moda block heads that I'm working on. It doesn't have blue, but that's okay. I'll just use it for some red and white blocks. And there are two quilts available with this collection. The very first one is a Jolly Bark quilt. Sorry. That's all right. There we go. It is, that's a Jolly Bar quilt. So our Jolly Bars are five by 10 inch rectangles of the entire collection. And you can get that pattern only in the Jolly Bar. So that's our very first quilt. And I think it's great because it's beginner. The next quilt is 68 by 80 and it's called A is for Apple. And what's great about this, it's a Moda kit. And when it, all those applique pieces are pre-cut and pre-fused. So the fusible's on the back. So all you have to do is glue it down and so, and then obviously stitch it. But that's the great thing about that one. And that ships February. The next one is called Sanctuary. And this is kind of a teaser of it. This is by Three Sisters. These are a couple of the patterns on this side. And I'll show them to you up close in a second. And this is the feel of it. It reminds me of one of their collections from a while ago called Flea Market Mix or Flea Market something. I can't remember exactly, but it's really nice. Um, this one ships in January. And it has kind of a lot of colors. It's got white, pink, darker pink, an aqua that's got more of a sea green to it it's not really a true aqua and then two different grays so really pretty really nice florals and this is a fat eighth bundle if you want to know what we're showing you and this one we have two quilt kits also the first one is called splendor it is an it's so emma pattern and we made it 60 inches square and we just wanted to do a quilt block that was huge so that you could do this kind of as a weekend project or just a one block quilt that comes out really big because we really wanted to showcase all of those detailed prints. The next one is called Peace and this is a Moda quilt. It's 72 inches square and this thing is really hard. So a lot of times you guys ask, you know, is this a hard quilt or this is an easy quilt? This is a feathered star, and so those little half square triangles on the edge, I would say I would probably not attempt this. Or if I did, I would just make one block. <laughs> I would probably give up. So let me know if you have any questions on the first two uh, before I keep going. And again, these are Moda collections that are shipping um, early next year. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, uh, first question from Ayaja Osby. Will we be able to order this catalog? No, this is a catalog that just ships to the stores 
and so I'm just giving you a little peek of it, but it's only for the stores. Now you can view the catalog on Moda's website, which is unitednotions.com, and you can see all of these collections on our website. So we worked really hard to get these all on the coming soon page, and we would love for you guys to comment um, and let us know what you're looking forward to the most because Kevin and I haven't placed our order yet. All right, and then we had a funny comment from Eileen Gabrovic, watching on the Nook and shopping Fat Quarter Shop on the iPhone, dangerous. Oh, that's funny. Uh, and then we've had a couple super chats coming in as we started streaming. The first one was from Valeria Bauer for 1999. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Valeria. Um, she put a little pair that says, thanks for being you, that's looking at itself in the mirror. Aww. Uh, and she also put a sweet comment saying, Kimberly, your staff are wonderful. Whenever they call me, they are so polite and helpful. Congratulations for having such a great group of nice people working with you. Thank you. Thank you, Valeria. Um, and then we had two new YouTube members join at the beginning of the live stream. Julie Turpin. Welcome, Julie. Yay. And Kelsey Kennedy. Welcome, Kelsey. Okay, and then we have a couple questions here okay. from Michelle Olson. What was the name of the first quilt pattern? I believe the one that was uh, Rosalind. Can you scroll one. up? Oh, yeah, sorry. The first one was called Cross My Heart. Mm -hmm. The second one that's applique was called A is for Apple. Okay. From Norma Cook, any idea when Apricot and Ash will ship? It hasn't shipped yet. Um, I think it should be early next week. I thought it was supposed to be this week, but it hasn't shipped. So either it, I'm expecting it next week, um, but I was also expecting it this week. So um, that's a rather large collection, which means that it's sold really well. So it's probably taken them a little bit longer to ship is what I would guess. From Heather North, could you use triangles on a roll to make the feather star? I think you probably could, but I haven't seen the pattern yet, so I don't know the sizes, but definitely when that kit comes in, I can look at it and see. I have not made one of those, that's kind of like one of those blocks that's just a ton of bias, and so um, anything with a ton of bias, I kind of shy away from. But yeah, I haven't seen the pattern yet, but hopefully there will be a size that will work. Mm -hmm. uh. From the Pokey Little Pineapple, Kimberly, what do you anticipate for shipping January, February? And I think they're asking about our shipping, if I'm correct. Well, so we're almost caught up on shipping, um, if that's what you're asking. We're only like one to two days behind, so we should be caught up. But all of these ship January, February, December. On the website, we list um, when they ship. But um, I can also tell you, so like, for example, the very first one ships, I believe, February. Yes. And the second one, the Sanctuary Three Sisters, ships January. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, from Mayaja Osby, A is for Apple. Will that be a cross-stitch pattern? No, that is a quilt pattern, and they have done that pattern, um, a version of that before. And that's just one of their quilt patterns, and that is by Minnick and Simpson. Okay, from Kathy Fershy Brown, when will you be getting the new Lori Holt quilt that you showed on the live with Lori? I thought you, I thought you said it was coming in September or October. So the book is going to the printer in a week, and so as soon as the book comes back, sorry, as soon as the book comes back from the printer, it will um, be available. So I would say one month would probably be a good guess. Right now the book is with the proofers. We do rounds of proofing and then it's gonna come to me. As soon as I get it, I will proof it and then it will go straight to the printer and we're waiting for that book. So what she does is she designs the book quilts that go with her fabric collections once she has the fabric in her hands. And um, so her books that go with her collections come out a little bit later and that's okay because her fabric stays in stock for a year with Riley Blake. The next collection is called Happy Days. And at the very top, you will see right here, these patterns are by Chelsea, the top row. The bottom ones are by Sherry, and these will all be quilt patterns available in paper and PDF. And this is the collection, it's beautiful. 
and we are working on, just so you know, on this one, we're working on a video quilt for it. It hasn't been designed yet, so there will be a quilt kit with this. It's again called Happy Days. It's cream, aqua, two different pinkish corals, a green, a gray, and um, it's not a navy, but it's more of like a navy with denim. So it's a little bit lighter. This will ship in February. And again, Sherry and Chelsea by Moda, and we will have a quilt. We just are in the process of still designing it. The next group, we're also designing a quilt. It's called Flowers for Freya. It's by Lindsay McRae. And she had a collection come out last year in December that was very similar to this. This will ship in January. And it is the same exact colors as her previous group. Just a lot of um, greens, blues, limes, and I would say kind of a cream. The grays kind of pull it together. And we do have a quilt kit coming. We can't show it to you yet because we just, well, we, Jocelyn just designed it this week. Mm. This ships in January. And there are some patterns that are gonna go with this. These are some of the patterns that will go with this collection. A lot of the patterns, each designer does it different. Some designers come out with the patterns as soon as the fabric comes. Some patterns show their, their patterns early, so it kind of just depends how the designer wants to do that. The next collection is going to be Dwell in Possibilities by Gingerbur. First, I will show you the panel. It's ginormous. So there are four Oops, I'm so sorry, Lily. I touched the microphone. Oh, it's okay. There are four panels within the panel, and they are quotes from books. Yeah, different authors. And there is gold metallic. So this is the panel, and I'll show you the collection. And I will tell you the black, and the, the black is really nice because it's more of a true black. And the gold metallic, when you get a gold metallic from Moda, it is, when you touch it, so this is like a big deal to me. When you touch a metallic, if you can feel it bump up, that gets really difficult when you're piecing. As far as how it looks, it doesn't matter, but when you're piecing and if you have a gold metallic that puffs up, it's gonna make your piecing harder. And the gold metallic that Moda does, you don't feel a difference. And so when you're piecing, it won't affect anything. So that is their panel. The panel size is, one yard so you get four of those with one yard this is a quilt pattern that gingerbread did where it's the same exact design with a different part of the panel in each so it's just a way to use that panel and here are some of her other patterns that will be available the deer in the top left is part of the panel cut out and the others i believe are pieced Again, this is Gingerbur. It's called Dwell in Possibility. It ships in January. And here it is. So it is beautiful. And what I really like about this collection is it's totally different um, than everything else in this bucket. And the gold metallic is really nice. It's, um, it's got corals, greens, blues, and true black. So very modern, but those butterflies are gonna be super popular. So let me know if you'll have questions before I move to the next part. The next part is gets confusing. <laughs> so I have to stop. From Lori McNee, good morning. In the Moda kits, is there enough fabric to starch? There should be. They are not as generous with their fabric cuts as we are, but I mean, your shrinking should only be about half an inch, so hopefully. From Robin Williams, is there any new Ruby Star Society? Uh, this bucket did not have any Ruby Star Society, but the bucket that comes out with Market, which will be in October, will have some Ruby Star Society. Ooh. And so I've seen um, snippets of it because one of our designers that works here designed a quilt for it. So um, it looks really nice. Uh, from Michael Contrell, what brand sofa is that? I don't know. We got, oh, I think it's Bassett. We bought this at 
what's the name of it? Home Goods. Home Goods. So it was like four hundred ninety nine dollars at Home Goods. Mm -hmm. So you can find really good chairs that are comfortable and lots of stuff. I mean, right now I don't know that you can find any deals. Uh, I don't know that they have anything, but um, Home Goods is always a great place to get furniture because they have a lot of asset and they also have a lot of, um, sometimes I'll see restoration hardware stuff there, I think. From Norma Cook, is the panel in the bundle? No, I don't think so. For Dwell in Possibility? No, I okay. don't think so. Um, this is our Fat Eighth bundle, so you'd have to look at the Fat Quarter bundle online. Mm -hmm. I don't remember off the top of my head. Let me see. I don't think it's even listed in here. So just look on the website and see um, panels. Pre-cuts do not include the panel, so no. And would you mind showing the top half of the panel? Yeah. It was just cut off in the view I had. Uh-huh. Thank you. Is that good? I can't see the screen. Oh, that was good, yes. Okay, perfect. I would read it from behind, but I don't think that today I can read backwards. I can read it. Okay, good. Um, the one on the left says, it is the sweet, simple things of life, which are the real ones after all, from Laura Ingalls Wilder. Uh, and then the one on the right is, the humblest task get beautified if loving hands do them, from Louisa May Alcott. Okay, I'll put the bottom down and you can read these. And these would make great pillows also. Oh, yes. Uh, one on the left says, she seemed to walk in an atmosphere of things about to happen from L.M. Montgomery. And then the one on the right says, dwell in possibility, Emily Dickinson. As you would say, super cute. Yeah, it's, um, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see, we had a super chat come in earlier from Barbara Coyle for $5. Thank, Thank you. you, Barbara. And she put a pair that's working out and it says, keep oh, it up. I need to work out. That's for sure. <laughs> I need to work out as well. It's missing in my life. Uh, another super chat from Amy Johnson for $4.99. Uh, and Amy says, I love the quilting. I love the videos and easy website. Just started quilting again. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Uh, several new YouTube members. Mary Kendall. Welcome, Mary. Thank you. And Susan Rosmus. Welcome, Susan. Thank you. And Shonda Counts. Welcome, Shonda. New member, Billy. Welcome, Billy. Uh, new member, Kristen Jackson. Thank, Thank you. you. Kristen. Uh, and then another super chat from Nellie Olson for $4.99. And Nellie says, your shipping folks are awesome um, from Virginia. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so the next item is going to be super popular. I can already tell you based on the emails I've received and... Um, these are going to ship in December. It is called My Favorite Color is Moda. It's two panels, and when you first look at it, they look the same, but they're not. So I'm going to show both of them to you and then come back and compare. So this one is going to be considered running yardage. It will be on the bolt. It's digitally printed, and so you can buy it, you know, five yards at a time, one yard, half a yard. And on this, the dots are small, and the Bella colored name is under the dot. So it's kind of, you know, if you're at home and you want to know what color mist is, you can see it. So that's the first one. So this is not a panel, it's more of a running yardage would be great for a backing. The next one is a pre-cut panel. So Moda already cuts this, it comes packaged kind of like a notion it's 36 by 44 it's also dig sorry it's also digitally printed Ooh. so this one is much bigger and the circles are bigger the number of bella is in there so like if it's color 200 the skew on the website would be 9900-200 and in the circle would be the number and the name is at the bottom like the other. And then the bottom of the panel 
has, you know, uh, the SKU 9900. It says Bella Solids Moda. This would make something great for your sewing room. You could honestly just quilt this put it on the wall and anytime you need to know, like if you need a green, I could just totally picture myself taking this and going over, let's see, let's see. I'm saying, oh, what red would, what red would match? Um, it's kind of like a little cheater, but I kind of envisioned this more as so I envisioned the pre-cut panel with the bigger dots and the numbers. I'm gonna compare them. As if you wanted to match something. And then I envisioned this one that's running yardage more of as a backing. And so I'm gonna compare them so you can see the difference. Very similar, but different. And you can see that the one that's running yardage has a black circle around the dots the dots are smaller and the number is not included. And these are higher priced than the regular Bella yardage because this is digitally printed. Or actually not all of them have a black circle, but some do. But I expect this to be super popular. It would be a great Christmas gift for mm. if you had a quilter, but I'm definitely going to do something with this. I don't know exactly what but there's, it's like a great reference tool. And to me, it's more fun than if you had a color card. Um, so pretty, I just love it. So let me know if you have questions on that because I know this is gonna be more of a complicated, I know we're gonna get um, more questions on it. Cause when I first saw it in the catalog before the samples arrived, I was like, oh, there's just one that's bigger than the other, but they're a little bit more intricate than that. And it's called My Favorite Color is Moda, and it ships in December. Yes. Question from Raylene Sherby. If we pre-order these, do we pay upfront or when they are going to be shipped? So you pay a reserve if it's a, so we have two ways we put it online. We decide if we're gonna just put reservations or if we're gonna pre-sell it. If there's a little price there and you pre-buy it, you just pay the reservation fee late now and when it comes in, you pay the price that we write on the website. If you reserve it, you don't pay anything and we just email you when it comes in and you're not obligated to buy. You just get a notification when it comes in and then you can decide if you're still interested. And you can do that on the one that um, you can buy. You can also just uh, get a notification when it comes in. Uh, Patricia Lawson says, good morning from mom. Great news. I can walk with a cane instead of a walker. I know. I saw your text. I haven't written back. I was asleep when you wrote the text. Oh. Go Patty. Yay. Um, Gina Tell says, I'm just jumping in. Happy Friday, y'all. Yay. And happy birthday, Gina. Happy birthday, Gina. Yeah. So Gina Tell is my resident. I'm going to call her my resident long arm quilter. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's her birthday, so I haven't even I haven't even texted her yet. Yeah, I haven't get, texted anybody yet. I just got to work. <laughs> you get two confetti cannons, Gina. Happy birthday! You're a yes. wonderful human being. Okay, uh, question from Vanessa Blonde: Can you pre-order the Bella dots? No, we're just putting that as a notification. Uh, from Deborah B: Is the Moda panel turned to color? Tr true, true to, to color. color. So I am not a hundred percent sure. I know that it's digitally printed, so it might be slightly off. Um, and if, yeah, but I think it's probably pretty close, but it might not be exact. Uh, Kathy Fershi Brown says, what size are the circles on the panel? Can you grab me a ruler? Yeah. Sorry. I would guess this is three quarters, so let's see how, how accurate I am. Let's see, thanks. Mm -hmm. So this small one, ooh, if I'm right, I'm gonna be so proud of myself. This one is five, yep, this one's three quarters inches, the small one, which is running yardage, and the bigger one is an inch and a half. So exactly half, this is double the size of this. Oh, I'm so excited, I, I guessed right. 
uh, from Kim Rupee, what is the repeat on the yardage? So the yardage just repeats, it's all random. I don't think it, um, I think it just repeats. I don't know if it repeats to the side, up and down. I don't know the exact, because this is all the piece I have, but I think this one more, um, I'm sure it's pretty. And this one also, another thing is this is random colors. And so basically all over, so it's got a, and then this is by color. So this one's more by color, and this one's more random for look. Um, I'm seeing a few questions about socialites, so I was gonna save those for when we talk about socialites later. Sure, we can talk about socialites in a little bit. Yes. Did, oh yeah, and I have my blocks, they're over there. Okay, so the next group is called Sophie. It is by Brenda Riddle. It ships in February, and it is my favorite collection she has done. It has a beautiful pink, red, gray, green, and the white. I really like the white. It is definitely a true white with cream accents. Really pretty, it's called Sophie. These are her patterns that she's going to offer in it. We have one, and here's how the florals look. And we have a quilt kit available. It is called origami. So this is going to be a Jolly Bar quilt. So this pattern will only be available in the Jolly Bar until it comes out in a book later. The next group is called Spring Brook. It is by Cori Yoder. Mm. These are her patterns. And this one right here is going to be in a brand new Martingale book called Check Mix. Mm -hmm. This is the fabric. It's beautiful. It's very similar to Pepper. She had a group called Pepper something. So this is very similar except that it has a blue and green in it. So I'm gonna show it to you. Pepper and Flax was that group and it was super popular, but this one just has green and blue added, whereas the others did not. So this ships in January. We have a lot going on with this kit. So a lot going on with this collection. So I'm gonna show you the kits. The very first one is called Lemon Fizz. That is a Jolly Bar kit. So, and it's a Jolly Bar pattern that the pattern will come with the Jolly Bar. It's 55 inches square. The next one is a Moda kit called Patchy Stars, designed by Corey Yoder. It's 70 by 82. And the next one is our charity quilt. So this is our charity quilt for 2021. It's 64 by 74. You can pre-purchase that today. I don't wanna to talk too much about the charity quilt yet. We're gonna do a whole live show a whole live stream on it and the reason why I don't want to talk about it yet is our charity donation button is not up and I don't want to talk about it too much because the whole point of it is to raise money for Make-A-Wish so we're gonna kind of hold that I do want to let you know the background print is called it is from the thatched collection and it is more of a blue a navy blue because we wanted the blocks to pop and we're kind of alternating light and dark backgrounds through each year the next collection is called Hello Sunshine by Abby Hall. And it is just, I love it. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, all the rainbows, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but rainbows are still trending. Mm -hmm. They've been trending for a while. So this one, super cute. It ships in December and we have one quilt with it it is a little pea quilt so that is the quilt that we designed with it and our little pea quilts are it's so in patterns that are smaller lower priced and they all use fat quarters so it's our little pea quilts are just meant so that you can just grab something from your stash the next group is one of my favorites it is i wish i had this when my kids were little it is called on the go 
the colors are on trend and it ships in January. I'm going to show you some of the pieces on it so that you can really see. So this is going to be a quilt kit, the airplane. It's actually pretty big. It is 61 by 72. The bottom two are other patterns by Stacy. And this collection, you can see more detail. It has lots of roads, construction trucks, uh, street signs. It is just so cute. But yes, I wish I had this when my boys were little. And with it, there is a canvas panel. The panel is 36 by 60. It's rather large. It is canvas, but even though it's canvas, it is a thin, soft canvas. So it's not rough. You know, when you think back 10 years ago when you bought canvas, it was thick and kind of gross. And um, canvas can now be made super nice. So this would be a great play mat. You could even cut those little squares out, make pillows. I love it. It's got all the things that go with the city. So again, this is On The Go by Stacy Itsu. And then she has another collection coming out December. So On The Go ships January. This one ships December. These are her patterns that go with it. It is called Be Mine. And the collection is wonderful. Oh. I know, so, okay, I'm trying to make it fit. So on the left is the collection and on the right is the panel and the panel makes a mailbox. Mm -hmm. Can you see it all, Lily, or do I need to move? Uh, yeah, can you scoot it towards the other side now? Sorry, other way. Thank you, that wasn't clear. <laughs> Yeah, so this one's great. The next collection is called America the Beautiful. It is by Deb Strain. Here are some of the patterns. And when I look at this, I just think Hobby Lobby. It has rustic look and fresh colors. Mm. So it's a great Americana group. There are two panels that are 23 by 44. And I'll show them to you. So these are the two panels very Americana. So this is the second Americana group in this bucket. There's three total. I consider this Roslyn also Americana. And this one ships in January and we have two quilts to go with this one. The first one is called Early Light and that is a Jolly Bar kit that measures 54 inches square. So that pattern will be in the Jolly Bar. And um, we wanted to use all of the pieces in the Jolly Bar, so we put the extra pieces on the top and bottom. If you want it to just be the flag, you could um, leave the top and bottom off. The next quilt is designed by Coach House Designs. It is a Moda quilt kit, and you get two kits in it. You get the big quilt with the panel, and then a table runner. And then the next Americana group is called American Gatherings. So this one is a deeper red and navy. And there are going to be a lot going on with this. So I'm going to try to tell you everything about it. So it's American Gathering by Primitive Gatherings ships January. So the first thing about it is this first one is a quilt kit. And so I thought when I saw that, oh, I'm gonna make that. And then I saw this, and this is her new book. So she always does, well, she doesn't always do, but she does booklets that go with her collections. And so that booklet's gonna have everything in here. 
And then this is a representation of the coloring. Ooh. And so, do you have, okay, yeah, so this is the kit like we talked about. It is 54 by 72. It's a Moda kit. Obviously, it's the American flag, an artist representation of it. The next item she released on Monday on her blog, her blog is, you can just search Primitive Gatherings blog. This is going to be called American Quilter Stitch Along. She's gonna start it in January. It's gonna be a free sew along where she gives you 15 blocks for free. And it's gonna go over three months. And um, so what you need if you want to make this is you need the Fat Quarter Bundle of American Gatherings and then the background, she's gonna, you can do it if you wanna make it navy. That color is 1040-42, and we've stocked up on it. And if you wanted a wider background, you could do grunge eggshell. And so I'm gonna probably sew along with her, and it's just gonna be on her blog. It's gonna be free, and um, you know, you can sew it in any collection, but this is what she's gonna sew hers in. So I'm gonna get this, and I'm gonna sew along with her. And um, I like to sew along with all of those, all of the designers that put stuff together for free. Mm -hmm. So let me know if you'll have questions now before I keep going, because I know that was a lot. Okay. Um, where do I start? From Lori T, is it okay to use polyester thread for sewing bits of a quilt? So polyester quilt, polyester thread, that's what I used to use a long time ago. I don't use polyester thread. I use 100% cotton. Polyester thread is thicker, and so when you sew a quarter inch seam and you press it open, you're gonna end up with a little bit shorter because it's thicker thread. Some people use polyester to do the quilting on top because it's gonna make it nice and pretty and thicker than cotton. I would recommend using cotton, but you can do whatever you would like to do. From Debbie Gilbert, could you quilt the canvas panel? Yes. Yeah, the canvas is super, um, let me find it and I'll kind of show you up close. Like the thickness is, um, you know, it's, and it's soft. It's, mm -hmm. it's not too thick. So yes, you definitely could quilt it. From Vicki Longcrier, my puppy Sophie jumped up when you said Sophie. Oh, that's funny. That's really cute. She's a smart doggy. <laughs> From Roberto Wilkes, do you suggest any particular pattern for flannel pre-cuts? Any collection? Oh. What did she say? Tell me again. Uh, flannel pre-cuts, do you have a pattern that you would suggest to go with them? Oh, a pattern. Mm -hmm. So what would be great with flannel would be the original Turning 20 quilt, which, I mean, that has been out for probably 15 years, but it's really big cuts. I would also look at some of Primitive Gatherings patterns. She has a brand new collection that uses, that's flannel, and so she's got some designs with it. I can't think of any of the names off the top of my head, but with flannel, I would do something a little bit bigger. From Sherry Burke, does the panel come with the bundle for on the go? No. So Hopewell is the next collection. It is by Joe Morton. And they put this collection together more, less by color and more by design. And I think it's very representative of her style. It's hard to see all of that, so I'm gonna show it to you this way. This is a project sheet that Moda is going to have that's and this is the collection. It will ship in February. The next collection is Mill Creek Gardens by Jan Paddock Quilts. This is very trendy right now. These are all of her patterns. Purple is definitely trending. I would say purple and gold, not, not together, but purple and gold are very trendy right now. And this is the collection. Again, Jan Paddock, Mill Creek Garden. 
ships in December and we have a quilt kit with it. It is called Garden Trellis. It is 50 inches square and that pattern comes in the Jolly Bar. The next collection is Jardin de Fleur by French General. Ships in February and it has lots of colors. You know, sometimes she just does red and white. Sometimes she adds a darker blue. This time she's got a lighter blue, yellow, and a tan. And this is how it looks overall. And the very last group, I'm going to show it to you first on paper. It's called Whispers. And I'm going to show it to you on fabric so you can see how it is supposed to look. There are going to be four different colors. It's a white on white collection. With a couple of different colors. So there's white on white, which is your true white on white. And it just gets a little bit darker from there. So this is more of a tan. So you can really see the white on white. And then you go a little bit lighter for more of a cream. And this is really nice. Um, the, uh, like again, the same thing with canvas. If you went back 10 years, your white on whites used to be sticky. This is more of a gray white. So there's gonna be five different shades and gray and lots of different prints. This one will ship in January. Again, it's called Whispers by Studio M Bermuda. So it's kind of like that. So that is my Moda presentation. Let me know all the questions you have. I still have a ton of stuff to go over. So um, just kind of let me know if you'll have any questions before I move on so I don't get too lost. Yeah. Okay. From Wilma Evans, when will the Sew Along with Ameri American Gathering start? She said in January. And so if you go to her Facebook group, her Facebook group is called Stitch with Lisa Bonjean. She also has a YouTube channel and she has a blog. And I found that all on Facebook, went to her blog. Everything is on her blog that you would need. And it's just, I like when stores like uh, Fat Quarter Shop and other stores provide something free to go along with the fabric. It takes a lot of the thinking out of it for me. And anytime there's something that I like that another designer does, I like to support them. From Rose Smith, can we reserve the flag quilt kit now? You can click, no you can click to be notified when it comes in. From Christine Paradis, is the purple quilt easy? The purple quilt. The garden trellis with Mill Creek. I would say, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it could be slightly intermediate, but it's definitely not advanced. Uh, Cynthia Adkins says, love the French General, any Jolly Bars? Not on that one. And, sorry, there we go. From Raylene Cheruby, just to confirm, are you saying the patterns come free in the Jolly Bar or do we need to wait for the next Jolly Bar book? So they come, every time you buy a Jolly Bar, there's a free pattern within it that is designed for that collection. So any of those that I said were Jolly Bar kits, you don't have to make the entire kit, but the pattern comes free as part of that collection. And if some people got upset because they want that pattern, but they don't want to buy the Jolly Bar, so we have provided it an alternative, and we do Jolly Bar books and give that pattern um, as a paid pattern, you know, much further in the future, like one to two years. From Nita Poole, you don't have to answer live, but on the Sophie Fabrics, the pattern that was in the upper right corner of the page, I want to reserve enough fabric to make that quilt. Do you have a suggestion of which bundle? So the Sophie, um, that is called Gingham Garden. Is that this one? I think so. Yeah, I would email Brenda Riddle. Just look up Brenda Riddle Designs. I would email her and ask her for fabric requirements. Um, her patterns are not available yet. 
um, when they do go on the website, we do put like an additional image with fabric requirements, but that's not available yet. She might not have even written the pattern yet, actually. From Suzanne McCallan, are there patterns for whispers? Not yet. Not that I know of. Uh, and then a few people asking uh, if we're getting Blooming Bunch, uh, Maureen McCormick's collection. Oh, yes. So that was, yes, that's coming out, I think, in November. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a Jolly Bar kit with it. Uh, that was just from a previous bucket. But yes, and we ordered a lot. That's been one of the most requested groups. Mm -hmm. From MJ, what is a good universal thread color slash weight to use for piecing? So for piecing, like 99.99999%, I use Aurifil 50 weight color 2000. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning of the year, we had kind of a contest and we started with one big, huge Aurifil spool. And I still, I'm about halfway done with my spool. So I bet that spool is going to last me all year. And I've made like a lot of quilts. So I'm kind of surprised that it's not, I haven't run out yet. Uh, then just a couple sweet and funny comments from Liz Henselmeyer. Seeing this upcoming fabric is torture because we have to wait so long. I know. It's kind of, it's hard, but it's good to like plan. Mm -hmm. um, like, oh, because now I have something to look forward to with the American gatherings. Mm -hmm. It's fun to look forward mm -hmm. um, to stuff. Yeah. From Kendra Connick, watching from South Africa, major fabric envy. We won't be able to buy most of these collections, but we love looking at all the pretty things. Thanks, Kimberly and Fact Order Shop. Oh, thank you. You can order and we can ship overseas. Yeah. Okay. From Cynthia Delorier, I just tuned in. What is a Jolly Bar? A Jolly Bar is an exclusive cut to Fat Quarter Shop. My last name is Jolly, so that's where it comes from. It's a five by 10 inch square a five by 10 inch rectangle. So it is half of a layer cake and double of a charm pack. And so we do it just to have something original and we put that free pattern in just because it's just a way to give back to you guys. And when you get it and maybe you buy a Jolly Bar and you don't use it for like three years, when you open it in three years, you're gonna have a pattern that you can say, okay, this is what I wanna do with it. From Diane McLeland, are the two American Gatherings quilt kits that you showed also in the Primitive Gatherings book? Mm, I believe that the first one might be. No, the it is called Our Flag Stands for Freedom. That will be a standalone pattern that is separate from the American Gatherings book. And those are both published by Lisa Bonjean of Primitive Gatherings. Okay, uh, and then we had a new YouTube member join, Sarah Case. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. So um, the next thing I was gonna talk about was socialites. Um, I was just going to, I can, can you grab my box? Mm -hmm. We weren't gonna talk about it. I wasn't gonna talk about it today, but um, since you guys had asked in the comments, thank you. Mm -hmm. Socialites is going to be a free sew along. This is my box of every block in it. So this box is full of my blocks. We did a blog on this and we have done a live stream on it. So if you wanna see every single block, I showed it last week. Mm -hmm. It starts September 25th. It will be exclusively on our blog. There are different Moda designers that have designed blocks for us. Mm -hmm. And we have a fabric requirement list that we can pop up for you. This is all available on the website, but this will be a way for you to come to our blog every Friday from September 25th to June 25th. And each week in the live stream, I will be showing you my blocks. There are three different sizes that you could make each week. And I made all of them and they're all in here because I don't know. I thought I just lost my mind, but yes. Um, so I showed all of this in detail on the previous blog, but just a reminder so you can grab your fabric. Yeah. Uh, we had a question from Crystal Romero with Socialites. Uh, they're asking, can I use a fat eighth bundle for the nine inch blocks in Socialites? Can you pull up the fabric requirements again? Yeah. Here, open it no. Okay. You could use a fat eighth bundle if you have 36 
what, 18 times two is 36, right? Yes. If you had, because what we did for the nine ounce blocks is we used 18 fat quarters and we used each fat quarter twice. So if you have 36 fat eighths, it will work. And honestly, with this, you can just use fabric from your stash. We're just giving you fabric requirements so you know where to start or you know, you know, kind of what you want to start with. And I got this box from Target. The next thing I wanted to show you is, I saw this. This is another designer that I love to support. This is Joanna Figueroa. And she's been showing this on her blog and her newsletters, and I love it. So it is a brand new pattern called Pumpkins in a Row. It uses All Hallows Eve. This is the pattern. And it uses a charm pack. And this will be, we have the pattern now, and we are gonna have more of the fabric in September. And I want you to see how she quilted it. It is so awesome. It is, um, like a zigzag stitch with a curly yeah like with the like without the without the point it's really nice mm -hmm. and whatever thread she used is awesome but i asked her if i could borrow the quilt just to show because i really like it i like the prairie points mm -hmm. and i just think it's nice and i like to support designers mm -hmm. So we will not have a quilt kit, but we will have the charm packs. We will have the yardage. We're just waiting for it to come back in. But if you already have this, this is something great you can do. It would also be great if you wanted to use your stash. It's 16 by 40. The Jolly Bar row along, we're on week seven, which is the finishing. So this will be the last time I'm gonna show this quilt. And the funny thing about this quilt is I probably made it nine months ago. It has been so long since I made it. So this is our Jolly Bar row along and you find all the information on how many blocks to make on our blog and you just need the Jolly Bar book too to make it. And it's our last week doing it. This is my backing, but I'm excited because now I can take my quilt home. Yay. Yeah, I can take it home. So if you joined us, thank you for joining us. I've loved seeing all of your quilts. And I've loved seeing the ones that have the darker backgrounds. Yeah, And if you missed it, you can always go back and follow the blog and do it. Yes. And I'm going to show you some other Jolly Bar quilts so that if you didn't join us, this is what you would find on our blog. This is the book. And if you didn't join us, but maybe you're a new customer or you're just first um, joining us for the first time, this is um, very beginner friendly. And I just wanted to show you um, some other ones that our staff made because they want to take their quilts home too. <laughs> so this is the Catalina collection. Mm. By Fig Tree Quilts, Nancy stitched it or quilted it, sewed it. And Mike quilted it. And Mike is mylongarmquilter.com. The next one uses the Harvest Road collection. Let's see, I think I have it upside down. No, I don't. This is the Harvest Road collection by Vanessa Gertson. Carrie made it and Mike quilted it so pretty i love this collection it's one of my favorite collections and then this one is harper's garden by sherry and chelsea Ooh. and terry made this and she added background 9900-31 to make it pop and mike also quilted it oh mike's website is mylongarm.com perfect I say it all the time and I still can't remember. <laughs> so that's awesome. So that's kind of a wrap up of one of our sew alongs. Um, we always kind of show it in the beginning. We show it at the end and um, it's been fun to sew along with all of you guys. The next item I want to show you is we have a new video out called Fat Quarter Ferris Wheel. 
It is a free pattern. It's part of our shortcut quilt series. Oops. Sorry. I dropped my tea. Oh no. So this is a fat quarter friendly pattern. You use 16 fat quarters. So if, and we are out of quilt kits. This sold out, the kits already sold out, but I know all of you guys have 16 fat quarters at your house. And a lot of bloggers joined us on this and it is so pretty, all of the quilts everyone made. Mm -hmm. So this is a free pattern you can download at Fat Quarter Shop. Definitely go to our YouTube channel, watch the video, give it a like. Our next quilt that we came out with this week, it w I'm gonna just be honest and tell you it's gonna be sold out this weekend. It is called Holly Berries. It's called Holiday Greetings. It's a Jolly Bar kit. Crystal designed it. Carrie stitched, quilted. Carrie stitched it and Mike quilted it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and it's with the Holly Berry collection. Yes, sorry. And it's so pretty. And this would look mm -hmm. so great with so many fabrics. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And then she also made this. So she took the block and just added to the outside mm -hmm. and made a pillow. And so this pattern is only available in the Jolly Bar. So if the kit sells out, you can buy the Holly Berry Jolly Bar and just add um, some backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Really cute. And then I wanted to let you know yesterday, super late in the day we got this, which is our prim quilt puzzle by Lori Holt. Her last puzzle sold out in a day, so I thought, well, I'll show you the next one, hoping it won't sell out. So this is the Prim collection. This is her Prim Sew Along. She is going to start that this week, and she has a YouTube channel. It's just called Lori Holt, and she's going to do demonstrations on how to make all of these applique blocks. So you will want to follow her YouTube channel for detail on that, and you might notice that the blocks look really similar to the Prim Stitch series cross stitch. So oh. you might see that if you're in our Prim Stitch series cross stitch club, you might see some similar things. And speaking of Lori, we are sewing on the Quilters Cottage stitch along. And so we're gonna pop up the schedule and show you this is her brand new book that we published with her and this is how we've broken up the quilt along and so we're on week three so Lily grabbed all the blocks so I can show you so we can get caught up on what we have we do have a couple of quilts left we are waiting on more of the background but the background has been the hold up on the kits just so you guys know this is block one Victoria made this and you make two of these blocks and this was the first week very easy. The second week was the house. And I love that she already did the rick rack. Ooh. Yeah, she did the rick rack. That's the hardest part. Mm -hmm. And she did a cute little um the door. The button. Do you see it? Yeah. Sorry, let me show it in the middle. She did a button in the door. A little button for a doorknob. Yes. I'm gonna keep these nice and neat. It looks so good. And then this week is the week that you would make the flowers. So I'll show you each of the flowers. This is a very beginner friendly quilt. The book has been tremendously popular and a lot of you are making it with different fabric, which I think is awesome because I love when people think outside the box. And again, Victoria made these. So pretty. So let me know if y'all have any questions on any of that because I still have a little bit more. I have a lot today, I'm sorry. Sometimes we get so much stuff um, and I have a lot planned for next week. I just have to go home and sew a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna go lock myself in my um, sewing room. <laughs> like literally, I just need to lock myself in there until I'm done. All right, we have a few questions that have been coming in. Okay, great. Uh, from Home Mom, I have been looking at the pumpkin runner, but the prairie points scare me a bit. What other suggestions to frame the runner if I were to leave off those points? just put a you can just bind it like normal oh normal binding. yeah so you could just um 
you don't have to do you could just do that you could i mean <laughs> that's i don't have pins but yeah you could just um take those off yeah yeah um <laughs> i'd be scared to do them too but i really want to make this i am going to make this and I'm gonna display it in my house. I love it. I just want to sneak this home. And I love the, I really love the, let me show you again. I just love the quilting. <laughs> Whatever thread she used. Um, and you could email Joanna and she could tell you, or she has a Facebook group also. And she has a moderator in there that could probably tell you who quilted this, but the quilting is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I think someone had also been asking if you use charm packs on the back. On the back? So she used yardage on the back. Okay. I'll read you the fabric requirements if I can find it. Oh, and for the person saying they were uh, worried about prairie points, uh, Joanna has a YouTube video on doing the prairie points. She does? I guess she does. Okay, I didn't even know that. I don't have the, I can't find the pattern in all my stack of stuff without wrinkling too much. I don't wanna wrinkle anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, funny comment from Lori Holt. Uh, she was like, that's quite a coincidence, LOL. I know. <laughs> I This came in like, yeah, I know, the, the cross stitch, but oh my gosh. So on the cross stitch, just so you guys know, I have made the first six, and this weekend I'm going to start number seven. Ooh. I have to actually print that pattern. I have to remember to print it before I go home. From Kimberly Michniak. Will Lori Holt have a puzzle for Prim Village? Prim Village. I don't know. This is the only puzzle I know of, but um, ask, she can answer, and if she wants to do one, she can let Riley Blake know. Yes, let us know, Lori. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't know of one, but puzzles are super popular right now. Mm -hmm. From Denise Guidry, What's a good background for the prim line? Okay, there is a great background. There are a couple of new B backgrounds that came out with the prim village. Sorry, the prim collection, but they're called B backgrounds. They just came in and I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but I will tell you in the book what we have done in her prim village book that we um, showed in a previous live stream. We are listing in the book the exact SKU number on those backgrounds because they're not part of the collection and we want people to be able to get those. Oh, okay, yeah, Fig Tree does have a Prairie Points tutorial and we have linked it in the comments. Great, thank you. Yes. Uh, maybe I'll have to go watch it. <laughs> uh, real quick, I was gonna pan up to show the quilt hanging yes. behind you. You know what, can you pan and I'll be right back? Yeah, yeah, do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so there's the quilt, and there's a little bit that's uh, obviously hanging behind the couch. It's uh, the fence and the quilt blocks. Let me readjust here. Uh, yeah, how's everyone doing today? Um, let me see if there's any questions I can answer here. Um, I see a few of you guys are asking about Nebula. I'm going to bring that up in a sec here. Um, I will be sewing along with Nebula, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, let's see, what else are you guys asking right now? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, Elizabeth Olin Hyman, I saw your question about the clapper, and Kimberly's going to talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a little mini intermission, Gabriel. Do 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 do. I feel like we need like a intermission music or something like that. And she's back. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Okay. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Oh, okay, here's the pattern, I found it. So on the pumpkins in a row, one charm pack, and then yardage for background, inner border, outer border, prairie points binding and backing. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, a few people have been asking about Nebula, uh, if we're gonna follow along with Nebula and if you could talk about it. Okay, so Nebula is a brand new block of the month program that 
is using a brand new Tula Pink fabric. The quilt is designed by Jaybird Quilts. We are offering that as a block of the month. And we have ordered, so once those spots are gone, they're gone, we can't increase our order at this point. They are doing a Journey to Nebula event to build your skills using Jaybird's rulers. And Jaybird and her design has a lot of bias edges. So she's gonna be doing some tutorials to kind of build up your skills before you do the quilt since the quilt is very hard. I'm not sewing along, but um, there will be a lot of stuff online on Jaybird's site, Tula Pink. I would encourage you to follow that. We are selling a pattern pack that includes all the patterns that she's using in that. And you would just buy the rulers separately because a lot of you probably already have the rulers. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm not doing it is just, um, it's a lot of bias. And so my excuse is I have a lot going on. I don't know if I have time to put bias in. I don't usually work, and, and it is very doable with her rulers. Her rulers are great. I've used them before. You get great results with them. It's not something that I enjoy. I don't enjoy bias. And um, the way that me and Peyton say it, this is what my Peyton, this is what my son Peyton says when he doesn't like something. Me and bias, we're not friends. So except he says it like a baby. He says, we not friends. Mm. So I'm not friends with bias. So that's why I'm not doing it, but it's beautiful. Um, I'm envious of anybody who does do it. I'm doing it. You are? I signed up. Can you bring it? I'll bring it. Yeah, she'll bring Lily. She's, she's on the hook. <laughs> are you going to starch? Yes. There's okay. no other way. <laughs> yeah. I was <laughs> like, you got to get you some pins and some starch. Yeah. It's been super popular. And I think, you know, Jaybird is a great designer. Everything she does is very original. Obviously, Tula is an amazing fabric designer. Pairing those together is obviously just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, very excited. Uh, Are you doing the journey too, also? Uh, yes, well, because I want to prepare for it. So, so what are you gonna use with that? I don't know yet. Okay, well, she's gonna bring it all in. She can sit here yeah. and demo it. <sighs> and she's gonna answer all your questions on Woo. bias bias because i don't like bias yeah we'll, we'll do it together yeah no, i do it's easy so beautiful that it is it's I really resist. pretty um okay yeah we got lots of questions and then a few questions came in for me in the intermission so we'll get to those at the end um but elizabeth Willen hyman says can any type of wood be used as a clapper to flatten seams or is the wood special okay so first i'm gonna say i'm not an expert and it was really funny because one day I talked about these and I said, they're new, they're great. And a lady commented and said, it's really funny how you always say things are new because they're really not new. This has been around forever. So I don't know what makes it special. I don't know if wood makes a difference. Like if you use different types of wood, I don't know any of that. All I know is my sales rep, Sammy, came and said, these are going to be awesome. You have to try them. They are, there's a quilter's clapper and a tailor's clapper. I have both at my house. I don't even know which one I use. They're the same thing. They're just different sizes. So what I do is what they have told me is when you have ironed your block and it's really hot and you need to flatten your seams, you put this on top. So for example, this block has a ton of seams. So when I had ironed this, I let this sit on there until it's completely cool and it makes it flat and not bumpy. And it's supposed to work if it's, your fabric is still hot. Now, if your fabric is still not hot, it's not supposed to work as good. I have zero idea what makes the wood a certain wood or why it works or anything. I just know that I have these and they work. Um, but if anybody knows that, that would be great and very educational for me to know and for other people to learn from in the comments. But yes, I just know that I love these. And um, one day Kevin was in my sewing room and he's like, what is this? Do you even use this? I was like, oh yes, don't touch it. That's my thing. That's like my cue to my husband and my kids. If I don't want, if I like, don't, I'm like, don't touch it. That means like, don't touch it. So I was like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Take it and do something with it? No, don't touch it. <laughs> okay, so we have a couple more things. I'm going to just show 
one more thing and I'm gonna save the other thing to next week just because we've already covered so much. But me and Lori put together these, um, I published these for her. We're doing six inch and 12 inch paper pads for our store and so she wanted some so we did them for her. So this is a six inch economy pad. What it is is a pad of paper where you, foundation paper piece, here are your instructions and you get 42 pages and we make sure the paper is super thin, easy to pull off. We have tutorials on how to do this. And we have sheets that you can print out from our site that tell you how many different blocks you would need to make different sizes. So we had these put together using the Prim Collection by Lori. And here we go. This is the first one. This uses six inch economy blocks. It's the Prim Collection with B Backgrounds. Teresa made it, and Gina Tell of Thread Graffiti quilted it. And what's amazing about this is, this is the front made with the paper pads. And you can see that when you're looking at it, putting those blocks together creates a secondary star. Do you see that? Oh. It's a secondary star. Mm -hmm. On the back, she put this running yardage, and this is not piece, this is a cheater cloth, and this is part of the Prim collection. So it's like a two-in-one quilt. So this again, six inch paper, Prim collection. And we also made 12 inch blocks. This block is slightly different. You can make the center one fabric, fussy cutting, or you can make a smaller one, which is the same, it's a six inch inset. So there's two options here. Again, on our blog and our website is this free information. And here is this quilt, it's very big. Very, very, very big. I don't even know how to show it to be honest. It's ginormous. So I'm gonna kind of just turn it around. Sue made this one, same collections, and Mike quilted it. I bet they would take about the same si the ba same time, because it's the same technique. And then this is the yellow on the back of this one. So I just wanted to show how you can use Lori's foundation paper, and we're gonna send these probably to Lori. Um, I think we're gonna ship them to her and then she can put them on her blog and all the information and um, her tips on working with it. Okay, cool. Lots of questions. I'm okay, gonna... so we're gonna, I'm gonna leave everything else I had for next week just because I just have too much. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just gonna, gonna start going down the list from the questions earlier. Uh, first one's actually a sweet comment from Anne Inga Kauslerich. Speaking of staff, Lori H. helped me with fabric matching questions so I can finish two quilts. Thanks to her and the rest of your staff. Yay! Thank you. Glad to hear that. Um, from Billy, I'm new to quilting. I've watched a few of your how-to videos. I'm about to be an aunt to a set of twins and plan on making a few baby quilts. Any tips? I think one of my favorite quilts for babies that are twins, because I do have twins, is using the spelling bee book and spelling their name and then just putting some plain blocks below. And there's a quilt in the spelling bee book by Lori Holt. And um, that's one of my favorite things. Uh, but yes, I have twin boys and I made, everything that I've ever done for them is totally different. Um, so it's very easy to tell the difference in what their stuff is. Mm -hmm. from linda is cory yoder having a sew along in january i'm having trouble finding info on it and i would like to buy her new fabric line dover for it okay dover is by brenda riddle i don't know if she's doing a sew along her blog is coriander quilts c-o-r-i-a-n-d-e-r off the top of my head, I can't remember, so I would just kind of go to her blog, and she also has a Facebook group, Coriander Quilts, and you could ask her there. From Pam Weaver, is there a fat quarter bundle in from the bundles you showed us this morning that you would suggest for the Socialites Quilt Along? Um, 
I would pick this one because it has a lot of colors, but this doesn't come out until later in 2021. So this one comes out in December. No, it doesn't. January. So you would start later. So, and really for the socialites, the, the very original idea for this wasn't that you would have to buy fabrics. It was that you could just get something free every Friday and use your stash. The only reason we list fabric requirements is because people really want things very specific, but you don't have to feel like you have to buy something. Dig in your stash and find something that you already have and play with that. It's just something to, uh, kind of use up what you have or just a fun way to get something free. From Lisa Clark, for the nine inch blocks, do we need eight additional 10 inch print blocks in addition to the 18 fat quarters? Yes. And so those prints are used for the half square triangles that are in the setting of the design. And if you go back to the live stream from last Friday, I show you um, that. I can show you the blocks. They're in the bottom of my box. Maybe I won't. They're in the very bottom. Uh, but they're just half square triangles where you make 16 half square triangles, two from eight different fabrics. So yes, that is in addition to. And if you don't wanna use that setting, then you wouldn't need that. That's just for the setting. From Vicki Loof, I have a question on a couple Lori Holt products. When will the new Seem So Easy come out? I don't remember off the top of my head. We can look at it. Yeah, so maybe it might be on the website or Lori can answer you. I actually don't know. So the Seam So Easy is her seam guides and she has some new ones coming out in some new colors. And I can't remember. Sorry, the website's loading. Oh. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and ask the next question while I pull this up. From Lo Rosalind Parnell, hi from Cambridge, UK. Love this live stream. What do you think of piecing by hand? Also, how can I overcome my fear of cutting material? So piecing by hand is, I think it's wonderful if you have the patience. Um, and I think obviously, I mean, I think it's awesome. I don't do it and I don't have any experience with it. Um, and fear of cutting, that's my favorite part. Uh, I prefer to cut rather than to sew. So I would say, you know, with cutting, just make sure you've got everything nice and ironed and flat and that will help you with your cutting. And just go slow. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe cut a little bit, take a break. Eat some Nutella, come back. <laughs> you know, just if you're, if it's something that frustrates you, taking a break will always help you just clear your mind. Go take a nap, come back. Go take a nap, come back. Uh, oh, Lori Holt says it's in the warehouse now. Um, our website doesn't have a date yet. Okay. So maybe I can email them and ask them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, from Nisa Boski, do you have a quilt journal that's like your cross-stitch journal? I do, and I don't have it here with me. It's at home. It's blue. It's called the Quilting Journal. And um, you can put, I think, 40 or 50 projects in it, and mine is half full for this year. We can link it in the box. Mm -hmm. From Iris Rivera, will one pad be sufficient for the quilt for? Yes. Okay. I think so. Because I think it's six by seven. One, two, three. Yeah, she did six by seven, and this is six by seven. So that was what we were trying to show was six by seven, one pad, what it looks like. It's so pretty. From Colleen McPhee, can I still do the Quilter's Cottage? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have some quilt kits. We, we cut some quilt kits earlier this week. Mm -hmm. And it's super... Um, what I like about the Quilter's Cottage is it changes throughout. So you're not constantly making the same size or the same block. So it'll be a lot of fun because it'll be, you know, each one will be a different challenge. Some will be harder, some will be easier, and it will make it go kind of faster. 
From Cassie Jackson, can you do a tutorial on how you do those fancy quilt backs with stripes or squares of fabric and keep both the front and the back centered? So um, it's kind of on my list to do. I haven't done it yet. And the reason why is I need to have a quilt small enough to where you can actually see what I'm doing on the table. So I'm thinking about doing it at the end of socialites with a smaller quilt. But it's just really hard to do because you can't capture it on a camera. And when I do something, I'm a perfectionist and I like it to be perfect. And I'm just haven't exactly wrapped my head around how to do that where it's going to make sense. But it is on my list to do. From Heather McIns, is Skylar still working there? I think of him every time Kimberly has a quilt too big to hold up. Yes, but we're just like still behind on shipping. So he's and he works like in the um, he's like a coordinator between customer service and uh, the warehouse. So if your order has a change on it and you need to be contacted, he brings all of that from the warehouse to the customer service. Mm -hmm. So our priority right now is just getting the orders out. Mm -hmm. We are almost caught up, though. Almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also social distancing is easier with less people in the room. Yes. Uh, okay. From Sharon Lewis, when will the out of stock true colors be back in stock? Okay, that should be October, September, October. Okay. Um, oh, and then people have been asking if I could sing for them, if I was a quilter, and if I had started the jacket. Um, okay, okay, first, right, what are you going to sing? I'm not going to sing right now. I'll sing no, another. You have to. <laughs> I'm not prepared. She sings good. Okay, she can sing next week. I'll sing next week. I'll be prepared mentally. Um, I am a quilter. I consider myself a quilter at this point. A, a beginner, definitely. I think she's beyond beginner. Beyond beginner. That quilt you had <laughs> that couple weeks ago with those bias seams oh, the was not beginner. Oh, thank you. That was not beginner. Thanks. Yeah, so beyond beginner. Um, <laughs> what was the next question? Uh, if I'd started that jacket, uh, I am working on it. When it's something a little more complicated like that, I am slow. So the, I'm, I would be too scared to do that jacket. The jacket <laughs> she's talking about is the Adita, what's it called? Uh, Beachcomber. There you go. Yes. Yes. I did start it, but I am slow. So I will make sure to bring it when it is done. Uh, oh, Anna Els, hang on. Let me try to pronounce your last name right. Anna Elms Joe uh, said I have the best voice. Thank she you. She does. I really appreciate that. I was very self-conscious of my voice growing up, so I appreciate all the sweet comments you about You were? It. It's just deeper, and everyone else is higher pitch. I know. Now I'm like, whatever, but... I would have never said that. Growing up, <laughs> I would have never up, thought yeah. it was deeper. Oh my you know, kids can be mean when you're growing up. It's fine. Oh my goodness, I would have never, ever thought of that. <laughs> Thank you. Um... Okay, Teresa said, well, have to come up with something for those of us who don't like Nutella. <laughs> That's oh, funny. okay. Pineapple or pineapple crackers. Yes, ice cream. Ice cream's good. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Uh, from Corinne Kresha. Totally off topic, but I would love to make the Minecraft quilt you did for your son a few years ago. Is it beginner friendly? And would you guys ever sell the Fat Quarter Bundle for it again? Um, I can look to see about the Fat Quarter Bundle. Um. I can do that right after this. It is very beginner friendly. And because it is all two and a half inch squares, I would use, my only advice would be because there's so many colors, it's like white, green, black, use a gray thread, like a medium gray thread so that your white thread doesn't poke through. So when I first started it, it was two. So that's the thing I'm gonna look at after this, the Minecraft and the seems so easy or seems guide. So I'll look at those after and mm -hmm. see on the minecraft it just depends if i can still get all the colors of bella mm -hmm. a lot of bellas are out of stock okay i'm just gonna take a few more questions here from denise r do you have any riley blake design fabulous fall quilt kits no we didn't order those okay. uh, from blue gypsy do i need any special rulers for the quilters cottage no uh, and from Gianna Corsuch, sorry if this has already been asked, but does the pumpkins in a row pattern come in PDF? No. Okay. Um, from Nadine Merrick, what is your favorite quilt you've done so far this year? I have really liked working on 
motor blockheads and the log cabin blocks. And I made something that I br actually brought it today. And I'm going to show it in September for Stash September. And that was a favorite. Um, so I think those three. I'm still working on motor blockheads. I'm going to give you all an update next week. And I'm also going to bring some more log cabin quilt blocks to show you. Mm -hmm. Okay. A few people are wondering if we are going to be getting more of the Very Coriander Christmas block of the month. No, because we cannot order more. Now, at now, what happens when that starts shipping out, that ships in um, later this month, when the fabric comes, the fabric hasn't arrived yet, people will cancel. People will not pay or they'll change their mind. And so any spots that um, people don't pay, we will add to the website. Mary Williams says, am I mental to love both Lori Holt and Tula Pink? I just discovered both and I'm obsessed. Yeah, I think it's great to love everybody. Yeah, I love both of them and uh, as human beings and as designers. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Glitter Bee said, Lily should dress up again and sing Spoonful of Sugar. Did you sing that one time? I didn't sing that one time, but she's saying I should get back in that costume. Oh, I was like, because I know you, okay, you dressed, she dressed up as Mary Poppins. Yeah. She dressed up as Snow White? Snow White the previous year. Yeah. yeah. I need to come up with something better for this year. I don't dress up. <laughs> I don't even know, like, Halloween. I was like, yeah, I don't know. Emma's supposed to have a dance that weekend. Like, she's supposed to be at a dance convention. I'm like, okay. You did dress up last year. No, I didn't. With Piggy. I did? You were a barista, and Piggy was a Starbucks drink. Oh, that's right. Drink. Well, that's because y'all y'all put it all together for me. <laughs> I put no effort into that. They all, y'all just tell me what to do and I do it. It was very I forgot cute. about that. <laughs> I have that's, a picture of I it. That's hat, why I remember. Right? I had a hat or something. You had a, like a little bandana because that's kind of what they wear. Oh, like okay. head tie. Okay. Yeah. Um, See, I can't even, I honestly can't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> oh, uh, can you tell us what line of fabric the economy block quilts were made with? They're all made from the Prim collection, which is brand new, and then random B backgrounds. Okay. All right. And you could use just you could just pick one B background and put it on there too. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have some new YouTube members and a super chat. So new YouTube member Maisie D. Welcome Maisie. Thank you. That's a cute name. That is a cute name. Uh new YouTube member Cindy Batine. Welcome Cindy. And new YouTube member Margaret Van Dalen. Welcome Margaret. Thank you. And then we got a super chat from Kathleen Fillingham. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you. Oh, there goes Super Piggy. That's my doggy Piggy. He's so cute. Yeah. Okay. Uh, comment from the Chicken Wire. I gifted my ultimate beginner quilt to my aunt, and my grandma loves it. She keeps she keeps hinting that she wants a quilt from me. Luckily, I am finishing finishing up Jelly Snowflake and can give it to her. Oh, Jelly Snowflake is awesome, and I have loved everyone who has added borders and changed the centers. Um, it's awesome. Like, some people made it rectangular. Like, some people added stuff to the top and bottom. Some people added to the side. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, and then a few people pointed out that the quilting on that quilt is bees. And they were asking if they were seeing it correctly. And it is. It's bumblebees flying around. It is. And Gina did this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, it is a bee. It's a little bumblebee. Yeah, let me see if I can it's also it flowers. One. That is a cute design. Maybe I'll have to use that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, last couple questions here from Kiki Elipudius. Uh, is there a tutorial for the economy block papers? Yes. It's on our YouTube channel. Yes, and we can link that below. And then Teresa was asking if Ashley is a quilter. No, but she's cross stitches. Mm -hmm. She's a cross stitcher. We cover and we've both sides. shown some of her cross stitch, but she's very nervous. Like, oh. she won't let us show some of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, you let us know, Ashley, if you want us to show stuff, but it's cool if not. Well, one time I know that she had something and she told us, no, she won't show it. <laughs> and that's okay. Like, yeah. I think that's fine. Like, mm -hmm. everybody's going to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, guys, have a great weekend. Um, I will have stuff to show you next week. What I'm going to do is bring in my Moda Blockheads. I'm going to bring in some Log Cabin Blocks. And who else? 
who knows what else I'll come up with. Um, thanks for joining me, and I would love for you to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.